welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a makeup tutorial today for my basic look that I have been doing for the past few months on my stream. I'm going to start by using my Claire's facial toner. Basically, it sets the pH levels of your face and provides full nourishment because my face is uh, not the best looking plain, but that's okay. And just pat it all in. I'm going to, I should have done this before, but I like using these little hair clips. Just so I have like my full face out and ready for me to work with. And then after that, I'm going to make sure that my face is moisturized. So I use my Christina Moss Natural Organic Moisturizer. I get it on Amazon. And I get the smell, uh, anise. There's the regular one too, but I prefer the one that smells because it smells really good. I've been making sure that my face is moisturized every day because I wanted to start like taking care of my skin a lot better because I haven't been as much the past few years because I haven't had breakouts. But now I'm having breakouts, so that's what I'm doing now. And then next, I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Blur Stick to minimize all my pores. I just use it right here. I really like the blur stick. Some people say that it doesn't work that well, but for me, I think it does. After that, I use Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's my favorite primer, actually, right now. I usually, in the past, have used the Professional Primer, but that always separated the makeup from my skin like too much, and it would just look really cakey. And with this one, it's a better texture and there's not like any color to it. So I really like that. After that, I use my Born This Way foundation in the color Nude. And I also put two pumps of that. Okay, that was kind of like three and a half. And then I also use my Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. Just like one squirt of that. And I mix that in my hand. It makes a lot, but I only, I don't use it all. So usually I'll put like two pumps maybe. <laughs> and then I use my damp beauty blender and I blend it out. I'm gonna put some more on my nose. I'm going to take my NARS concealer. It's a creamy concealer. It's like one of my favorites. And it's in the color Light Canel. I think Canel actually. It's like Light, light 2.75. I want to set that in place with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm obsessed with this powder, it's my favorite. I'm always afraid that when I get this over anything, I'm like, oh it's gonna it's gonna stain, but it's it's translucent powder, so we're good. my powder we're gonna go in with my hula I'm using the Too Faced kabuki brush I'm just going to get both of my cheekbones and underneath as well I'm also gonna get my forehead and then alongside my hairline at the top following my face and then with the smaller brush I got this one 
on Amazon. I usually use my Morphe brushes, but I don't have any Morphe brushes right now for my contour. So I've just been using these because, you know, they're just as good. After that, I'm going to use my blush, which is in the color Flower Child by Becca. It's one of my favorite blushes right now, actually. It's a really nice coral pinky color. I'm actually gonna try using this blush and see if I like it. I think this one, this brush will actually look a little bit better. And then after that, I'm going to use one of my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighters. It's very cheap, but it's very good quality. It is my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder in Precious Petals. And I'm going to use my Hourglass Contour Highlighter Double Sided Brush. And I'm going to put this on the bridge of my nose. We're going to set my eyes with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Just put a little bit because a lot of this is not needed because a little goes a long way. After that's done, I'm going to use my favorite palette right now, which is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I just got it like a few weeks ago, um, and I've only I've actually used all the shades, but my favorite is Cleavage, this one right here, and I love Nude Goals as well, this one right here. Um, I'm going to use my Morphe M. 433 brush in the shade Cleavage. I've been loving like sort of natural shades, just light browns and whatnot. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with Sexpert, which is this color right here. After that, I'm gonna use Risky Biz, which is this color right here. And I'm basically just making a gradient. So the inner corners are lighter and then I stack on a darker color and then I put on another darker color. But I use less and less space and more towards the edge. And I try to make a little bit of a wing type shape, but with this brush, it's not as easy, but I try just so it protrudes out a little bit that way. And then after that, I'm going to use the lighter color, which is Nude Goals, the middle one. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M67 brush, or my M167 brush. And I'm going to just shade in the part that I didn't color, which is on top of my eyelid, and just pack it in. And I know a lot of people, like Kylie Jenner and others, they put, and Lauren also, they put their face makeup on after their foundation and concealer, but I prefer putting on my eyeshadow after because I don't see that much fallout. And if there is fallout, you could just basically blend it in, but you know, everybody does stuff differently, so. All right, I'm gonna go in with less is more and just basically make sure that line that's separating the colors is blended out. Fix it up a little bit, add a little bit more risky biz. Okay, after that, I'm going to go in with my liquid eyeliner. I use Stila. It's the waterproof eyeliner. And I'm going to just draw a wing. I 
I'm gonna get a smaller mirror. I got my smaller mirror. All right, now I'm going to do the other side. They're good. After that, I'm going to go in with my primer for my eyelashes. I usually curl my eyelashes, but I can't find my curler right now. So I haven't been using a curler, but I've been using the CLS Booster in XL by Lancome. Um, any of you that have to do your eyebrows, I would recommend doing that before everything because I mean I haven't talked about that because I don't usually have to do my eyebrows just for me I have to um, trim them and take care of them so that's all I have to do I don't have to line them or I don't have to fill them in or anything so I'm really lucky I would say and then after that I let that dry and I'm gonna go in with my full and soft Maybelline mascara All right, after that, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara just to give it another layer. I got a little bit on my nose, so I'm going to get my brush that I used my highlighter with, and I'm just gonna try to blur that away. And then I'm going to glue my eyelashes. These are the Huda Beauty um, Lashes in Samantha and I'm using my duo white glue. Out of all of the glues from duo, I prefer this one. I know you could use it in a different color but I prefer this one to let it dry and get tacky. Then I'm going to do my other eye. I also like to tight line my eyes. So I'm going to use my Le Crayon by Lancome in the color Ebony. I only like doing the top though, not the bottom part. After that, I'm going to do my lips and for my lips, I'm going to use two different colors. One of them is my lip liner, which is actually the first color and it's by ColourPop and it is in the color Brink. I actually forgot to use my lip oil, but I did this morning, so I think we should be fine. I use this lip oil that I got from Sephora and I've been really enjoying it. I'll make sure I link it down in the description. I have it a part of my skincare routine in the beginning of the morning and the evening as well. And usually I'll put it on before my makeup. I'm using Echo Park, which is another color by ColourPop. And it's an ultra satin lip. All right, use my concealer again. And I'm gonna make sure that on the sides, there is no place where it is lined too much over. And then after that, we're all finished. I'm going to use my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. And we should be good. I'm just going to stream right now, so I don't really do much for my hair. I brushed it when I woke up, and this is how it was for the rest of the day. Um, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. I don't do very many of these that often. Usually, I'm just posting, you know, like the leak highlights and stuff like that, but I really do hope you enjoyed this look. It's not, you know, anything crazy it's just my normal makeup routine this is what it'll look like when i stream so you know it won't look as you know 
Alright, bye guys.